build team are testing whether pyramids have mystical powers. Can they really keep fruit fresh and razors sharp? While they wait for things to rot or not, Tori's off to the barbers. <laughs> oh, this is not cool. Do you think it's me or the razor? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I think we're done on that side. Pyramid side done, but the torture continues with the control. So, was there a difference? The left side definitely felt um, duller really? than the right side. I'm just glad this whole experience is over. <laughs> the left side was duller? Well, maybe there is something to pyramid power after all. Let's check up on the rest. Something about rotting milk and rotting apple that just grosses me out. The milk's turning to cheese, but that's not all that's happening. The apple in this one is actually rotting at a slower rate than that one. I know. Feel the power, man. I don't know. I'm so bummed. This oogie boogie stuff is actually <laughs> working. Like it or not, the apples are rotting at different rates. Is this pyramid power at work? Or has the apple experiment gone a pear-shaped? Time to consult an Egyptologist. What do you know about the power of the pyramid? Well, the, the myth is that the, the shape itself um, was part of the process of preserving um, the, the body of, of the king. And by extension, I suppose there are people who think that it preserves just about anything placed inside of it. As far as I know, in ancient Egyptian um, thinking, this, uh, there's no evidence that they, they thought about that at all. Could the mummy's curse spell the end for pyramid power? Dr. Manning reckons that it's mummification that preserved the bodies of Egyptian kings, not the shape at all. So how's the apple getting on? Well, it's been 15 days. This one. It's definitely rotting at a slower rate than this one. The pyramid apple defies logic. It's kept its color, its shape, and it's mold-free. Flowers seem to be doing the same thing. They're both dried out. There's no real uh, difference. I don't see any difference. And how about the milk? Oh, my god. There's like little critters. <laughs> There's little critters crawling around in there. Yeah. Is there any in those? Yeah, they're little maggots. Milk maggots are Mother Nature's use by date, but razor blades can be tested with technology. We've brought our razor blades here to the California Academy of Sciences to see if we can put them under the electron microscope, see if the pyramid has had any effect on them. Hi, Scott. Hi. Carry on with the Mythbusters. Glad to meet you. Scott's a guru of the electron microscope. First, the control razor at two and a half thousand times magnification. It's just hard to believe that this little forest right here is the edge of a razor blade. The roughness means the razor's edge is blunt. So what about the pyramid razor? They look pretty much identical to me. Side by side, photos show how similar they are. At three magnifications, they're almost identical, and they're both different from a brand new blade. So pyramid power sharpening seems pretty ineffectual. Would Tari agree? All right, so this is day 16, the last day of our experiment. Are you ready? I'm ready. First up, the control razor. Ow, this is not very sharp at all. It's actually kind of hard to watch. It's as blunt as a bowl of pudding. You want to go for the pyramid? Yeah, hopefully that will be sharp. <laughs> I hope for your sake pyramid power works. Why? I thought you enjoyed seeing me in pain. Of course not. Uh, How's that feel? This is like no better than the other one. It's just as dull. It's like pulling hairs out of my face. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ah. This thing is not sharp at all. I need a real razor. Tori exits for medical help. Oh man, I'm sure glad that this myth is over. Dude, are you all right? Well, it doesn't look like I'm all right. <laughs> I would have to say that this part of the myth is totally busted. I think your face is busted. 
but his mojo's still working. Baby, give us a kiss. <laughs> you don't find me hot like this? <laughs> you look like hell. There's no getting away from it. The pyramid apple isn't exactly crisp and juicy, but it's not as shriveled as the control. But there may be a non-mystical explanation. Tori forgot to sterilize the blade of the chop saw when he split the apple, and may have given the two halves different microbial loads. So there's gotta be one last test, this time with whole apples to avoid contamination. They're polished with bleach, then put under a UV light, a WMD for microbes. And in a fit of geometrical enthusiasm, they decide to test cube power too. If there's anything to pyramid power, this should be the setup, we'll find out. With everything pointing north, the apples are left to sit for four months. Time to put this pyramid puzzle to bed. Ooh. Okay, that's pyramid. This is the control, that's nothing. And this is <laughs> cube. Well, <laughs> it's obvious that cube power is really <laughs> bad for you. But what about the other two? I'm just gonna take some representative samples. Pyramid, regular. I'm looking at the one of the pyramid, I'm looking at the one out in open air, and I don't see any appreciable difference. I'd agree. So I think that's myth busted. I can call this myth busted, please. And can we not do any more of these oogie boogie myths? 